All right, so I was at this bar not too long ago, and I had to take a piss. So I saunter off to the men's room, and at this particular bar, the bathroom's made up of one stall and two urinals. Now, it's worth noting that these two urinals, well, they're about eh, four centimeters apart. Needless to say, you gotta get a little comfortable with whoever you're pissing next to. You're so close to the other guy that uh, you kinda just wanna be like, you know what, fuck it. You wanna share a urinal? Let's share a urinal. We might as well. So I walk in, and of course, there's already somebody at the urinal. And of course, there's already somebody duking it up in the stall. All right, whatever, fuck it. Time to get cozy and be pee pals with whoever this strange man is over here. So I squeeze in next to this guy, and he's all pissed off and does this little sigh, like, come on, dude, can't you go piss in the sink or something? Like, listen, buddy, I don't like this any more than you do, all right? Our shoulders are rubbing against each other and shit. Let's just tough it out. We don't gotta make out after this or anything. So there we are, dicks in hand. And it was right about this time that I realized that that this guy, he's not even pissing. I'm not saying that I was oogling this guy's wiener, but there was definitely no tinkle sounds coming from the tinkling area. And I kind of like glance over at this dude's face and kind of give him the nod like, hey, what's up, buddy? And he's got this paranoid look on his face, a face that I've never seen on a human being's head before. Looks like he just swallowed a bunch of pennies or something like that. Now it's worth noting that I don't have a shy bladder. At least not when I'm halfway drunk, which is what I was. When I'm halfway drunk, I can piss in public, I can piss in front of my grandparents, in front of a school field trip, you name it, I can piss it. I can piss standing on this dude's shoulders if I wanted to. But as soon as I notice that this guy's not peeing, my brain kicks in and is like, hey, you know what would be weird? If you couldn't piss either, and you guys just stood there with your dicks out. And as soon as I thought it, well, it sure the fuck happened. I'm pushing, God damn it, am I pushing. My eyes are bulging out of my head, my face is turning all red and shit. Nothing's coming out, though. A fucking puff of dust hits the back of the urinal. Poof. Now we're just two grown men holding our dicks. Yeah, I'm here at the great pissing stalemate of 2016, where two grown men, dick in hand, can't piss in front of each other. That sounds awful, Tom. Is there any end in sight? No way, Bill. Both are completely insecure, and neither one of them want to be the weirdo that just hovered their dick in front of a urinal for three minutes for no goddamn reason. I'm standing there thinking, like, God, if my dad could see me now. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna stand here until I explode. I don't give a shit. I'm standing in my ground. I'm not peeing. You're not peeing. What the hell are we doing here holding our ding-dongs for? What are we, practicing? Like 30 seconds go by and we're both standing here pretending like this isn't the most awkward moment of our lives. It's a very tense moment. Like Clarice talking to Hannibal Lecter. Tense. Hello, Clarice. Dr. Lecter, it's Jody Foster. Quid pro quo, Clarice. Quid pro quo. Jody Foster. Look how handsome I am. Some guy walks in the middle of all this shit, sees what's going on, is like, nope, I want nothing to do with this weirdness. I'll go piss in the street. The dude pooping in the stalls, wondering what the hell's going on out there. Uh, are you guys still in here? Finally, after what seems like a goddamn eternity, my uh, piss partner sees an opening. He finally gets the courage to piss. I don't know what's going on, Eye of the Tiger. This is it, the big moment. He finally lets loose for a whole half a goddamn second. He pissed just enough to fill up a thimble. And then he zips up and runs out of there like the building's on fire. Holy shit, I won. I did it. I, I won pissing stale my 2016. I was so relieved. I swear to God, I could have just dropped my pants around my ankles and pissed like the weird kid did in first grade. All bare-assed and all. The pooping dudes clapping for me. I left that bathroom feeling relieved, hoping somebody was going to give me like a sash or something. Pissing champion 2016. But no, there's no confetti, no celebratory applause. But I did get to uh, avoid eye contact with that other guy the entire rest of the night. So that was rewarding. I kind of felt bad for him. I was thinking about going up to him, maybe buying him a beer. Just be like, look, dude, sorry uh, sorry, it got all emotional in there. I'd shake your hand, but uh, your dick was in it. So here's a Michelob Ultra. BruceDude.com I don't know what else to say. Jody Foster. It's my Jody Foster impression. I don't have a good... I feel like my Hannibal Lecter impression sucks, dick, but my Jody Foster impression, that shit is perfect. Dr. Lecter, it's Jody Foster. It's pretty similar to Ruff McGruff. Jody Foster and Ruff McGruff, they're the same person to me. Ruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Jody Foster. Take a bite out of crime.